Let's take a look at this question together. x, y, and z are consecutive multiples of 5. Counting from smallest to largest, what is x plus y in terms of z? OK, let's take a look. First of all, on the test, you'll probably see a question like this. Um, it will be multiple choice. OK, so you will have answer choices. So one thing you could think of is to actually try each of the answer choices um, uh, based on the information you have in the question. Here I'm going to make it a little bit harder, and I'll assume that we don't have answer choices. So first thing, what are consecutive numbers? They're numbers that are after each other in order. They are multiples of 5, so 5, then 10, then 15, 20, 25, and so on. These are multiples of 5. From smallest to largest, what is x plus y in terms of z? So the first number is x, the second is y, the third is z, and so on. It could be any three numbers, any three consecutive multiples of 5, any three of those, or, or other multiples of 5. I'll just choose the first three to make it easier, and I'll assume that x is 5, and y is 10, and z is 15. Here, if I had multiple choice, if I had answer choices, I could test each of the answer choices using x is 5, y is 10, and z is 15, and see which one is the only correct one. Now, I want to try to do this without having any answer choices. So I think first, what do I want? I want x plus y in terms of z. That means I basically want an equation with x plus y on one hand and something that has to do with z on the other hand. Okay. So first thing I think of is, okay, let's get x in terms of z and let's get y in terms of z, then add them together. Let's look here. From 5 to 10, from x to y, you added 5. And to go from y to z, you added 5, and so on. From 15 to 20, you add 5, because there are multiples of 5. That means that we can say that x equals z. Remember, we want x on one side and z on the other, then y on one side and z on the other. x equals z what? 5 equals 15 what? Minus 10. The difference between the 5 and the 15 is 10. If you take any three consecutive numbers, the difference is always going to be 10. So x equals z minus 10. Similarly, y equals z minus 5. This is the difference between y and z, just 5. Now add these two equations. On the left-hand side, you get x plus y. On the right-hand side, you get z minus 10 plus z minus 5. z plus z equals 2z. Minus 10, or minus 5, or negative 10, minus 5 is minus 15. That means x plus y equals 2z minus 15. Now let's check that this answer is correct using the information that we assumed at the beginning. If x is 5 and y is 10, so 5 plus 10 equals 2. What is z? z was 15. So 2 times 15 minus 15. Okay, what's 5 plus 10? 15. 2 times 15 is 30 minus 15 is 15. So we were right.